Alright, what's going on guys? It's really Tone Zone here with another video on Superior Drummer 3. And today we're gonna look at the symbols. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. And let's get into this shit. So um what we have so far, let's let's take a listen. Um I've already recorded this video and I didn't record any audio. So just thanks to my screen recorder and shit. So I've already gone through with the symbols and like picked all the symbols that I want. So this will be kind of a sh shorter video. We'll see. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So let's hear what we got. Symbols are a little bit subjective to taste, actually, and also depends on how much they're cutting through. So right now, I haven't touched any volumes, so everything is just at zero, like for the symbols at least. These are changed, but the symbols are all at zero. And we're going to go through each one of them and kind of level them up a little bit. Make sure they're, they're being heard and they're crispy and clear. And yeah, so let's start with the hi-hat. The hi-hat is actually good at zero, so we'll keep it there. But definitely the crash symbols need to be raised. So that's, that's a good level for the left crash, so we'll, we'll roll with that. Now, let's do the right crash. Let's find a spot where it's being hit. Superior Drummer makes these cymbals usually pretty quiet, but they give you leeway to make it louder or quieter, whatever you need. So we got the crashes going, and we'll move on to the ride. So there's a blast beat here. Alright, so we got the volume for the ride, a bit louder than most things, but the ride is pretty quiet in Superior Drummer by default, so we gotta, gotta bump that shit up. So that's good. So we'll move on to the China, China symbol, and let's find the section where the China is hit. Around here. That's pretty good. I like the China to be very loud because in a mix it should be like crisp in your face type of thing. You can really hear like the, the whole China, not just like this little tinny part of it, but the whole thing. So that works. Now, I'm going to go through, give you a couple tips on when it comes to symbol, choosing like what symbols. Um, so, 
Let's look at the crashes. So I typically, if you're right hand drummer, like normal drummer, um, I have the high crash, the high sending crash on the left, and like kind of like the accent crash, like right? And then the lower sounding crash on the right. And the reason for that is it's more pleasant to the ears when you're hearing kind of like a lower crash versus if you were to hear this constantly, it'd be like, fuck, just stop. I just want to hear that once and move on. But whereas if the drummer is constantly hitting this crash, it will sound nice to the ears. So maybe go for larger crash on the right and then smaller crash on the left. So this is an 18 inch. It sounds very nice. And 16 inch on the left side is more brighter, more like just hit it once, move on, right? So that's the thing with the crashes. Um, ride, honestly, most of these rides sound pretty good. Um, I just find the one that sounds the best, that has the best like tone to it, ambience, etc. Um, the sizes uh, will change the sound a little bit, but you just have to fool around with that. Make sure it's boosted in volume, like pretty good amount, because a lot of these rides in Superior Drummer just come not very loud. Okay, and the China, China symbol is, eh, most of these symbols are gonna sound good. There's not much to choose from, but this one sounds the best to me because it's the most, like, full and it cuts through so well. But the rest of them are pretty close to that. And then hi-hat, there's honestly not many choices either, but um, I find this hi-hat and also the first one here, they both cut the most. Like, if I switch the first one... Like, it sounds... they both sound pretty decent. This one... Just sounds kind of weak. And then that one's a little too washy. It's too large. It's a 17-inch hi-hat, so... We should try and use... Something that's gonna cut more and that's smaller. So yeah, fuck. All right, it's a new day, and I'm gonna conclude the video right here. That's how you get your superior drummer cymbals sounding nice and crispy. It's all about choosing the right cymbal and getting the level and playing around with it. And then the mixing will come later. I'm definitely gonna do a video on that, so stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you.